Earlier, I spoke with Nancy Morejon about the Cuban Five and the current state of U.S.-Cuba relations. She's the vice president of the Cuban Association of Writers and Artists. I asked her if she thought the five men could be released soon. I'm very hopeful, and I think that there has been a very interesting movement, not only in Cuba, but the one I witnessed is the one done in Cuba. Uh, for our heroes, the Cuban Five. I think that uh, writers and artists are very, very concerned with their destiny. And uh, I want to remember now that some, some years ago, I wrote a preface for a book of their families, letters and designs, and you know, the, the wives and children, very moving stuff about their lives. And uh, I do believe, we trust that they are Although they're in prison, although they have to defend uh, the right of Cuban people to exist, if they were fighting against terrorism, they're poets. Mostly of them, they have written poems and they have reached a very high level of spirituality through literature, through art. There is, you know, one of them who is a, a painter and a poet, Antonio Guerrero. So we have been very sensitive to the history of these five men, and I think they belong to, to the field of Cuban culture. Right. You know, I was just wondering, what gives you hope that they will be released? To, you know, back in 2009, President Obama, uh, when he came to office, said that he was open to dialogue with Cuba, that he was open to improving relations with Cuba. Um, do you think a lot of that has been fulfilled? Do you think relations have improved to the point where you will see someone like the Cuba Five being released? Yes, in the sense that uh, there have been steps very maybe slow steps but very strong steps about this and for instance one of them René Gonzalez uh, whose, whose story is very uh, attractive in terms of literature I wrote a uh, story about uh, his wife and himself and he has been visiting Cuba and actually he's down there so I think things the, 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 the world moves and the world is going to become better and better and there will be an understanding. This understanding is always based on the cultural relationship. I, I'm talking about music, I'm talking about poetry. This, uh, let's say, distension of tensions may come do you, do you think from that culture. Culture? Do you yes, think the cultural absolutely. relationship has got better? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I think they are. They have been improved. Although the embargo exists, there is an embargo, a very half a century with an embargo, but I do believe that we, we have been making alternative actions that have, have led us to this point of relaxation and the possibility of thinking that the, the Cuban Five will be released. What do you think of other aspects of the relationship? I mean, travel restrictions have been eased uh, for travel to Cuba. Trade restrictions, to some extent, have been lifted as well. Yes. And uh, that, this machine sometimes is like an engine. Uh, from the moment it starts, it will never stop, although it may be slow, as I was saying. I do believe that for 21st century, there is a, a handicap. And I do believe that the movement is not only between governments it is only it is no, it is not only governments it's so it's mostly the movement of people popular cultures and and uh, traditions and and the the needings of if each people to express to each other that's very very important we don't you, we cannot wait in a passive way about the, 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 the problem seen as a point of governments. We have to look for this movement of artists and writers, and at the end, I think uh, they will be released.